We should prepare ourselves. Yeah, I didn't. I, I understand why they did what they did, obviously. I feel it's a strategic move, obviously, to cut off their food supply. But the irony is it, it was for naught because, as Vasco pointed out, they're, they're still getting food and supplies anyway from the seas. So all those people that they killed, those innocent merchants, died for nothing. Because, <laughs> like, their death didn't even serve the purpose that they were trying to accomplish by killing them. So, yeah. Not a fan of what they did, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it is war. Um, I did not want to attack them because I wanted to try to come to some diplomatic resolution as much as possible of this conflict, this war between Hikmet and the Islanders. And I didn't want to, like, burn any bridges, personally, for the Sarde, personally, to burn any bridges with that. So, alright, I have to go back to inform Reinhold, outpost captain. Okay, and then we're gonna begin, begin making our way back um, to help Vasco with his issues, because we love Vasco, and I love taking care of his issues. are still have a long ways to go I hope I will not regret letting them go they are so full of hatred for the Alliance the Donaya Exregal fought as my mother did to free our people from the Lions and now they are ready for a great battle I hope they will not end up like my clan I have to admit I... that the story of this attack is concerning we should talk to Captain Rainhild about it we can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Yeah. Okay, we're almost there. I'm uh, again. I, I appreciate the banterish stuff that's been going on. Um, it'd be cool if there was more uh, banter, like companion banter with each other. If Vasco and. Um, and um, Siora, I keep calling. I keep wanting to call Siora Sojiro from Persona Five. Her name is not Sojiro, Siora. Um, yeah, I would be nice if there was some Vasco and Siora banter, or Kurt and Siora, or Kurt and Vasco banter. Yeah, I'm almost there. Here we are. Sup? Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes. But of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Perfect. All right. We did our good deed. I think that quest is over. Um, among the ghosts. Inform Ulanimus there's a pending arrival. Yeah, okay. Display on map. 
inform Ulan, so I have to go back, double back to Ulan, let him know. Okay. Alright, so now we are going to start heading back towards New Serene, because I think we've cleared all of the missions here, at least. And I'm going to go to my campsite to quick travel. Um, let's travel back since we're passing by here anyway, um, Camp of the Stone Arch. I want to, um, cool, and we can also hang by and talk to this guy and see if there's anything neat we could sell, or buy, rather. Archbishop's Ring, no, that's not better than what I have. Old Antique Armlet, Inquisitor's Necklace, Healing Necklace, Magical Aid Healing. Oh, okay. That ups that. Okay. No, I think we're good. We didn't fully explore this area, and I wanted to do that real quick, since we're on our way back. We're making our way back anyway. So... Okay, so it saved off the fact that we killed off those creatures. And I think I already went this way last time, if I remember correctly. Ooh, wait, I didn't, I didn't open this loot. Old reinforced gloves. Okay, so I did miss something there, if I did go this way. Loved, I love the fall colors, and I love the passage of time in this game. So immersive. Makes it so much more immersive. Kawis, Cave of Knowledge. Hmm. I'm assuming we can't enter said cave, at least not for a while. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what these things are called. This, like, tower made of flat stones. There's a, there's a name for it. I know because I heard about it in one of the shows that I'm watching right now called Manifest. It's not like a super pop, it's not a super, super popular show, but it's just a show I started watching because Josh Dallas, a actor I'm fond of from Once Upon a Time. Awesome show, um, Once Upon a Time, for those of you who are Disney fans who enjoy the writing by, made by the people who I think helped for, with Lost when Lost was still good. <laughs> when the writing for Lost was good and not ridiculous. Um, did I totally miss... Did I totally miss a whole area back there? Or was I not able to get through that area? Because if I go... If I go this way... Did I just totally miss a path? Oh. I have to... Yeah, I can't go... Okay, okay. So that's a bridge over this. Got it. That's a bridge over this area. That I can't... Well, if I go this way... Okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to make my way there. Alright, that's fine. For now, that's fine. I'm not bothering with those creatures. Oh, wait, there's creatures here. Okay. Yeah, um... Wait, there's somebody fighting them. Maybe we can help? Okay. Oh no, Siora. I was like, Siora is already fighting him for some reason. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. 
Uh, no, you get a stasis. And you get a stasis. And you get my fist. I'm okay with this. Okay. All right, more of those things. All right, he's gonna go attack them. That guy's gonna charge us if I don't stop. That guy's going to mow him down if I don't stun them. Okay. Gotcha. Boom. Shaka laka laka. Yeah. I went there. Okay, um, let's head this way. Maybe this is where, this is the route that takes us underneath the bridge. Yeah, I believe this does. Ooh, it's a chicken looking thing. Okay. Okay, some destroyed caravans here. I'll go back there later. Let's head through here underneath. I think this is what takes us underneath the bridge. Yes, it does. Underneath the bridge. So we can explore what's in this grove here. I hear something. Oh, this takes us back here. All right, all right, so I just got it, okay. All right, well, we already, we've already went through this area. Okay, cool. Well, um, back under the bridge then. And we're just gonna make our way through here. We're very close to leveling, to level 12. I'm pretty sure the next combat, which is coming up, is going to take us there. Oh, there's a lot of them here. It'd be nice if I can send these guys commands, like, and tell Vasco to charge. Careful, Vasco. Ooh, the alpha. We're gonna focus on the alpha. Stun the alpha. Stasis. I'm gonna drink a potion. Yeah. Magic potions get so many. Ooh, dodge. Nice dodge. Did not mean to unstasis him. It's not my intention. Ow. Whoa. Unbalanced. Whoa. That's right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow. He's not doing as much damage as he has in the past, though, which is good. 
Whoa. Um, heal while I have the chance. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody okay? Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Right. It seems like I'm a little bit more resistant now than I was before. More people victimized. Poor merchants. I'm wondering if these merchants were also attacked by that same group of tribal tribes, tribal people that were attacking the the merchants. I'm, I'm assuming that's what the implication is. Uh, no, I don't want to leave the area. No, I don't want to leave the area. We still got a lot of this map to explore. I really appreciate that these individual instances are not crazy huge. They could have easily said, you know, we're gonna just add... Instead of adding content, we're just going to make these maps much more massive, like the Inquisition maps. Which I felt, I felt was unnecessary for Inquisition, just my opinion. So, the fact that these, these particular instances are manageable sizes is great. Because they're, they've just, as a player, it just feels far less, um, it just feels far less daunting. Um, I'd rather that they'd have more smaller maps than less bigger maps. Because, um, I don't know, old-fashioned players like myself, um, open world, the more open world a game is, the more, the more of a turn-off it is for me. Because it's just, I like playing my games in manageable pieces, and open world is just too much. I can't go past there. I can't get past there. Okay, so there's this whole area over there that I'm just not going to be able to reach yet. So that's cool that there's areas that are blocked off until maybe the story continues. Maybe the main quest will unlock that area eventually. Mike, just my guess. More per mer poor merchants. Oh my, this guy's got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be going on a f selling spree the next chance I get. Okay, so that's all done. Now we're just gonna have to double our way back. We're gonna go under this bridge, get to the camp, and maybe I can quick travel to the other camp. Let's see if I can do that. I can quick travel to the... Where is the other camp? There is no other camp to quick travel to. Travel to... Ah, no, that's okay. Okay. Onwards. Stasis. 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 Hold on. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. I don't need to. We got this under control.
Got a lot of leather, leather. that'll be good for upgrading our armor and weapons. Quathorn. Quathorn? Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Okay. Let us try... Cutting this way. Oh, there's a camp over there. Camp area. Nice. Prayer spores. Okay. Um, there are beasts over there. Just want to make sure that they're not hiding anything. Stasis. We're just gonna completely, completely t destroy the ecosystem here by just killing off all of these species until they're completely extinct and just messing with the balance of nature. Ooh, hot springs? Vasco! Do you want to take a dip into the hot springs? I mean, sure, you can join too, obviously. Ooh, it's a swamp. It's a... What is that thing? Ooh. He seems cool. I'm wondering if he's gonna be... He's, he doesn't seem to be as tough as the other one that we fought. Um... Ooh, is he poison us? Ooh, okay, okay, I'm poisoned. Ow! Alright. Alright, um, so he's a little more difficult. But that's okay. He's at half health. Ooh, poison. Run! Run away from the poison cloud. At least you can visually see where the poison area of effect is. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Oh my! It follows me? Oh jeez. Ah! Potions. Um. Health potion. But I'm still poisoned. Uh, resistance to poison. Uh, but I'm still poisoned. Um, his potion, power potion. I don't have anything that doesn't heal my potion. Oh, that does heal my poison. Or maybe it could heal on on its own over time. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. But I have some resistance to poison now, so... Ooh, ow. Thank you, Vasco. Oh, Siora, not Vasco. Well, S Vasco, of course, helped too. Whew. Nice. Nice experience. That's good. Oh, I don't think I ever leveled. I got hit level 12 and I didn't level. Shield that also increases balance, increases fear generated by attacks, also increases elemental resistance, also affects allies, cleanses poisons. Let's get that, now that poison is a thing. Now, <laughs> that's probably the perfect time to, to take that. Okay, this is a good one to get whenever I can because it also affects allies, um, which I, I think is a huge boon, definitely. Nothing to sneeze at there. Let's 
So I guess the reason why I was cured of poison is because it just healed over. Poison went wore off over time, is my guess. Okay, 10 land. I think this is new. New creatures. Nice. Okay, down boy. Those guys. Behave. Oh, oh, oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Boom. We got this. We got this. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. When you live in a dream. Okay. Alright. Um... Ooh, there's a skill stone skill altar. I'm going to go. I'm definitely hitting up that skill altar The veil of the great battle Another camp area what luck Perfect Okay What's back here? Oh, hello. Ah, we've got another village here. Morphs yours, people. Village of Fikulzob. Hello. Don't mind us. We're just barging in. Oh. Okay. So I wonder what these guys are known for. Skills? These are the skill... Altar lantern things. They're just letting us walk, the complete strangers walk through without those guards. There's no guards even? How the heck do they manage? Ooh. I earned a skill point. Okay, I feel like that is the. That's a safe bet. These guys are the skill altar people. Blessing of the Enlightened. Nice, and now I need two points to get Storm. Um, three points. Oh, that seems like a worthy investment. Three points to get Storm. Yeah, I mean, that is a little weird that nobody... There needs to be at least someone at the gate who's like, Halt, who goes there? You know, how can we trust you? Should we let you in? Instead of just having me just waltz right in. Because um, that's a, li a little um, jarring. Morden's abode. Travel. Morden. Morden Solus? Speak to Morden. I'll speak to him after I take his stuff. Because that's how we roll, apparently. I will barge into your place, take your stuff, and then talk to you.